Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two. And welcome to a little, little game known as A. No, Psyche is actually live alive. I will still never get used to that title. It still sounds weird. So yes, sir. You've never heard of this game, have you? No, and it looks like it's supposed to be said live a evil. No. Well, hmm. You, you could say that, but but no. This game was released on the Super Nintendo, which is an old game. And um only released in Japan. It never came to America on the Super Nintendo. So, when they made this remake for the Nintendo Switch, it was pretty damn cool. Because the only way people played it before was through a uh, fan translation. <laughs> but, now we, but now we got this, which is pretty cool. Alright. It seems like everything's good. It's in that cool-ass uh, 2D HD style that they're doing for these Super Nintendo games. I do like it. And, uh, yeah, I think we just go in. Let me explain to you how this game works, because it is not your usual JRPG. The way this works is that we have a bunch of different campaigns, all set in a different era. They are completely self-contained. Some of them even have different gameplay styles. And you can choose whichever one you want at any moment. We have prehistory, the Wild West, the near future, the distant future, Twilight of Edo Japan, Imperial China, and present day. Let's do them in a chronological order. No, we don't gotta do that. It would be funny. Literally, any order. Literally any. I want to do them in chronological order, because it would be funny. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why that's a bad idea. Because, why? uh, distant future, old, old ball boy right here, not much gameplay. So you don't want to save that for last. It's basically... It's basically just telling a story with a minimal gameplay. And? But, but literally, literally any. That is my one stipulation. Let's not save Ball Boy for last. I'm... Reverse chronological order then. Reverse? You want to start with Ball Boy? Yes. Said he's the... Shortest one, right? Hmm. Is he? I guess so. Alright, well. The distant future. Far from Earth, in the vast void of space, the transport freighter Kogito Ergo Sun slowly makes its way home. Aboard this tiny vessel, a new form of life is born. Alas, as a series of incidents put the safety and well-being of the ship's crew in jeopardy, this autonomous support unit, but recently built by the engineer Kato, must work together with its creators to ensure all is not lost. Does that sound interesting? Sure. Let's go! The distant future. Funny little robot boy. Alright. See, so yeah, I don't expect a whole lot from this one, but it is pretty interesting. Space Dock, TSQ-05, Record of Departure. Registration, Ogito Ergo Sum, Class, Civilian Transport Freighter. Destination, Earth. Cargo, Xenobiological Specimen. Crew, 5. 
Passengers, one. Courier, military. And cool thing, they all get their own opening credits. Cargo Manifest. Primary cargo, xenobiological specimen. Description, giant quadruped. Habitat unknown. Capabilities unknown. Why are we bringing an alien to Earth? To study it, of course, because why wouldn't you? Always a bad idea to bring unknown life to Earth. Because it could be an intergalactic demon. Orders from command concerning specimen are as follows. Detailed study of specimen is of highest priority. All necessary measures should be taken to ensure delivery. Escort is mandated. Alright, so we got our crew here. Who's this nerd? I believe that's our father. Dad. Question, when they get out of those car parts, do you think they need to take a massive piss? Probably. The distant future. The mechanical heart. We're going to learn to love. Little precious ball boy. <laughs> oh yeah, I believe most of it is voiced. I believe. We awake. Okay. I should do it. Huh? That's odd. Very odd indeed. I'm certain Father. I did everything right. Father, which is odd. Father, do you love me? It worked! It worked! Father. Wow. Father. Brilliant! Wonderful! Hello there, little one. Can you hear me? My name is Kato. K-A-T-O. Kato. It's a pleasure to meet you. I... Uh, right, of course. You need a name. Let's see. Well, you're quite round. Father, do not name me Kirby. Roundy? Round. Father, that is awful. That's terrible. Hardly fit for a dog. Father, I crave flesh. Yes, well, you may be round, but mankind's strength is our sense of humor. Cube! This is funny. And that's impressively worse. Naming was never my forte. <laughs> Perhaps inspiration will strike as we walk. Father, I wish to be Come called on, Cube. Me. Father, please Wee! call me the Cube. That is funny. All right, here we go. We have radar. You have some mini-map stuff, nice. Uh, you can hide it, why would you? And you can return to chapter select. We move. Check. Stuff. Toy Robot. A mint-conditioned vintage steel titan. 
Oh, see, that's actually a reference to uh, another another chapter. Holographic photo frame. A smiling elderly couple stand on either side of a young boy holding a toy spaceship. Ain't that sweet. Personal computer. A schematic titled Support Unit Version 3 is currently displayed on the screen. Father, where are our brothers? We have a bed. The memory foam not only conforms to the occupant's body, but also uses electrical pulses to stimulate their muscles while sleeping and help maintain physical fitness. That sounds pretty good. A kitchen. Dishes and utensils. In the sink. Father, I wish to cook. Let me cook. Personal log. Date. Completed first prototype. Performed basic stress tests. Initial results are passable. Date. Burn. Conducted additional testing of second prototype. Motor functions need work. Locked up during tests. Remote operation function was within acceptable parameters. Date. Commence construction of third prototype. Finished reading latest Earth tech journals. New circuit boards are most impressive. In any event, I will make do with what I have. Date. Completed third prototype at last. We'll begin performing tests after I finish my rounds of the ship. The captain came to take a look at my work. He said we're one week out from Earth, which means that tomorrow we're to bring the others out of cryo. Hopefully I can get our new crew member up and running by then. Father, you are a nerd. Father, you are a massive nerd. I wish to leave, Father. Alright. Father. Can we go into any other rooms yet? This is private quarters of Kirk Wells. We don't have access. Okay. This is... This unit is reserved for charter guests. I'm gonna guess that's where our guest is. We do not have access. Father, I'm gathering as much information as I can. This is Rachel Klein. We do not have access. See, what's pretty cool is you can tell because of the green arrow on the floor. That's the only room we can go in. Uh, Yoshiyuki Gato. You do not have access. We were just in there. Wait, wait. Oh, father. I'm sorry. I think I think we got to talk. Oh, wait. Father. Father. I seek blood, father. Are we going? The first thing we need to do is register you as a crew member. True. Otherwise, you won't be free to move about the ship. Thank you. All right. Careful now. You mustn't fiddle with things you don't understand. Father. I'm a robot. I'm smart. Right then. Mm. Ah, yes. Greetings, Kato. I hope this morning finds you well. Top of the morning to you too. I'd like to enter a new crew member into the system. Understood. Scanning new crewmate. Scan complete. Classification, Autonomous Support. Please state designation. So you could rename him. But do you wanna? Oh, if we did, what would we rename him to? I don't know, I like Cube. They all, they all have their own names they start with. Pyramid. Hmm? We rename him to Pyramid. Or pyramid? Trapezoid. Trapezoid? Uh, yeah. it, it's 
funny. <sighs> Let's do a trapezoid. All right. Our first, our first boy, trapezoid. Okay. Creating profile. And with that, you should be able to come and go as you like. Oh, and whatever you do, don't forget your name. Access to private quarters is subject to some perfunctory security restriction to enter. You may need to input your name. So, if you're ever having trouble, that's one thing you can try. To do so, access the panel to the left of a door. Do you understand? Or would you like me to repeat myself? Like, oh, uh, you bastard. You, you bastard. So, you bastard. You do, so, do you understand? Then the next order of business, little one is a test of your analytical skills. I'm going to leave this room and head to another area on this floor. I want you to try and find me. Hide and seek with father. Father. Do not run from trapezoid. Oh, and if you're ever feeling lost, take a moment to review the ship's map. Damn! Father. Big, big map. We must find him. Where do you think he went? I think it tells us where he is. Well, that's no fun. But there are some areas we can go. The gray dots are places we haven't gone. Ah, oh, the rec room. You want to know some? This is this is the place where we get our uh, our gameplay. Climate uh. control system is operational. You wanna go down here? To this computer right here. Oh, not yet. Not not yet. Game says not yet. We are look. We are looking for father. Okay, well, it seems he's just to the right, so I guess we'll go there. Not yet. No. I wish to explore. Elevator. Where would you like to go? So there are three floors to the ship. Pretty big. Makes sense since this is our only area for the chapter. I'm no longer looking for father. The cargo hold. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sir, you know, I, wish to, see, I wish to see the space demon. It's in there. Trust me, it's in there. We just can't see it yet. What is this space demon? Uh, not good. Not good thing. Oh, what did they say about enemies? We ain't gonna have no enemies yet. Don't worry about it. Are we going to have to fight this space demon? Maybe. Ooh, the airlock. Show me in the space. I can handle it. Father, I you have constructed me alternatively. Oh, they all have their own. That's uh that's Rachel's. That's uh that's Kato's. Fathers. That is Kirk. Of course there's a Kirk on a spaceship. 
We have Huey Trumbull. Okay. Whore Bishop. Oh, poor, poor person. And TDF, whatever the hell that was. I think that's that's just a free space suit. All right, I believe that was the first floor. Could go to the third level. You could. Or the entire place before we find father. Do you think they thought we would do this? Probably not. Because this chapter is a uh, very li very linear. Oh, the bridge! Crash the ship! What the hell did you do? You made thingo noise. Performing diagnostic of AI control system. No anomalies detected. Well, that goes ahead and shows you there's gonna be anomalies. Oh boy. Watanabe Hypercaster Communications System. Performing diagnostic of Unit 1, main antenna. No anomalies detected. Performing diagnostic of Unit 2, sub antenna. No anomalies detected. Remember the name Watanabe. That's a little, little Easter egg. The propulsion systems should be fine. All of this is going to break. Probably. Navigational systems. A okay. Course and heading are correct. Yeah, I don't even know if there is stuff for us to find. There might be? It is good idea to become familiar with ship inside. True. What is it? Oh. Room? Centaur room? No. Main computer room. Entry is restricted when an authorized user is not present. We, we need father. We found the computer room. I miss father. I wish to see father now. Alright, I believe we've we've gone basically everywhere. So do we have actual shoes, or is this, uh, are these treads we just kind of roller skate on? I believe, I believe treads. Father. Why did he give us glasses and a hat? Now it's time for you to meet your fellow crew members. Through this door, you'll find the cryogenic stasis pods. We use them to put humans into cold sleep to preserve resources during long trips into space. Little one, I have a very important job for you. I want you to head inside and wake up your new friends. You can do it. All right. Father. Hello. Hello, mortals. Performing diagnostic of cryogenic stasis units. Unit 1, operational. 2, operational. Okay. Okay, great. Wake them up. Wake. This is Kirk Wells, the helmsman. Push the button. Old. This is 
Rachel Klein, The Signaler. We can probably talk to them. No? Oh, there it is. Have to walk a little bit. Ah! Well, would you look at that? Okay. Huh? What is this? Okay. This is Huey Trumbull, the chief mate, head of cargo. Head of cargo? Okay, how's he gonna fuck up? Because you know that damn thing is getting out. Hello. Have you met my father? Reserve unit. So this man is not a crew member. Oh. Hello, father. Thank you, little one. I appreciate the help. Good morning, my friends. Hello, father. Finished your pet project? Yes. Indeed. They have even taken a name for themselves. Trapezoid. That's a terrible name. Hello, my name is Rachel. Looking forward to working with you. Nice Hello, you, Rachel. Name's Clark. Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Clark. <sighs> Huey. Rise and shine, Huey! We've been on ice long enough! Show us what you've got. I'm giving Sleeping Beauty here a swift kick to get him up and moving. I am not built for combat. I am going to kill him. No. Sir. Wake. Wake. Gok. You dingus. I'll thank you again for not kicking a blissfully sleeping man's pillow. I'm sure we had this conversation. Hello. What the? What is that thing? Oh. My name is Trapezoid. Easy there, Huey. We're still coming out of cryo. As for the new addition, Sabak Kato's been working on forever. Huh? Oh, bot. Kato's bot. Right, that project of his. He got it up and running. Hello. <clears throat> Hello there. I'm Huey. Corporal big man. Who is the big man? Corporal Darth. Doing well rested? Hardly. If anyone actually feels better coming out of cryo, I've yet to meet them. Guess what, Corporal? Cardo finally finished the bot he was working on. Let's introduce you. <sighs> Never mind that. Let's dispense with the formalities. Hello. Tell me, though, do you intend to let your clank have the run of the ship? If so, Fight then me. I expect you to see that it does not get underfoot, and to discipline it if it does. You are racist. Else, then I will go on ahead to the recreation room and prepare for the briefing. Clank is my cousin. I'm going to bite that man. I will build myself jaws. That's a military man for you. All business. 
Real piece of work, huh? G. One moment. Right, of course. Sorry, folks, I skipped it. He said, the customary briefing after waking the crew. Whatever that is. You should join us in the recreation room, too. Okay. Don't worry about the corporal. He'll warm to you in due time. I doubt that. Will he father? It's as if you actually see it as one of us. A pause. But I suppose that's just your way. Huey, that is very robotist of you. I am one of you. Oh, do you think so? How does it sounds like someone we've heard in a... Uh, um, Xenoblade? Yeah. I can hear it. I think it's just because he's British, though. Wait, why is a Japanese man British? Mm. All right, so they want us. Oh, I didn't even. I was just pushing buttons. I thought there was like a dash button. Look at his menu. Oh. We're level seven. No items. Huh. Yeah, I guess there's no dash button. So just gotta walk over to the rec room. All right, there you are, trapezoid. Now then, so are you prepared for this? Check this shit out. We go over here to Kirk. This retro game is my latest obsession. I love it. Who's talking? I, I think that's Huey. Kirk, you've made more progress in a shorter period of time than any other player to date. Your skill and dedication are impressive. Damn straight. You want to give it a go? Yes. What's the game? The game is Captain Square. That's a lady. Was it? That was 100% high boobs. Captain Square. Oh yeah, I see it. Mercury. Now, Captain Square. Welcome to the combat system. Here we go. So now we can finally learn how the combat goes. A uh, charge gauge will appear above allies and enemies that are rating actions. Once this gauge has been filled, they will execute the action. A la Final Fantasy. You got abilities, items, pass, wait, or flee. You have an area of effect that will be displayed for everything. Uh, ally is zero, they're dead. And uh, if an ally is dead and they are hit again, they will then be gone from the field and cannot be revived. So, definitely should remember oh. that. And then we can quit Captain Square at any time. So, sir, try it out. Get a feel for it. We are playing as Captain Square. And it mentioned on the thing we can get a memory card to then save our progress on Captain Square and then actually progress in it. Because I think we do get something if we get far enough. Cool. You've also now burned those squares. Miss. Oh, fire tiles damaged us too. So 
So battle system, I think it's pretty simple, but it works well. Reduce their speed, restore HP. Ooh. Nice. These guys kind of suck. Damage massive. Oh, but it's got a long charge time. The core sword. Fucker moved away. Quark sword. Oh, that's a cool that's a cool move, but it missed. So how how you liking it? Shells. Neat. I I think it is pretty neat. I think we can do supernova and then just kill him. And there we are. Stage clear. Stage clear. But of course, this is just some type of mini game. And also, we don't have the memory card for it. What the shit are those? What the play up arms? What the hell? They were called Headbert? Yeah, sir, I'll tell you right now. We don't have the memory card for for this, so we don't actually want to progress anymore. Because I think we do need that in order to get the reward for this. Cosmic Suicide Headbutt? That's a name. I don't like these things. They scare me. Yeah. Do not worry, we will, we will come back to this, but I just wanted you to get a taste of the combat. Just a little, a little, a little smack roll. <laughs> not cut out for it after all, huh? Shut the hell up. Let me give you some advice. You can't always be aggressive. Pay attention to your enemies and how their attacks work. All right. And there we are. And I think with that little bit, we will end it there. Sadly, this this uh this one has a good story, but not much gameplay, so we we will we will get through this hopefully in the next one. Hopefully. We'll see. I've been player one. I've been player two. And we'll see you there where we see our trapezoid boy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.